AI has garnered the lion's share of attention over the last few years, and rightly so, and even more so with the rise in prominence of generative AI over the last several months. That said, folks, I'll tell you from firsthand experience that reaping the benefits of your AI deployments is non-trivial. It takes significant effort and commitment. And therein lies the key to operationalizing innovation, and that's the core topic that we're going to be exploring over the course of the next several minutes. We're first going to take a gander at the innovation philosophy at BMC that drives every portfolio investment decision. So everything that we do at BMC is firmly anchored in addressing the needs of customers. And by these, these are our customers' existing needs and their emerging needs. What we do is we take these into consideration and then we reflect on the macro environment and the constraints imposed by all those externalities. Then we sincerely examine what BMC's heritage, strengths, and expertise are, and where it makes sense for us to expand our offerings with two things in mind. One, the offering should be a compelling solution that delivers a win for our customers. Number two, it should give us, us BMC, an opportunity to be successful. And if it meets both, the, both those criteria, it goes in as an innovation investment decision at BMC. So logically, the next step is to figure out how we enable today's needs or existing needs for customers. We do so in three distinct buckets. Bucket number one, we, how do we continue to help our customers stay on top of their increasingly complex hybrid IT environments? And I'm going to give you examples of BMC portfolio uh, in each of these cases. So in support of the first way we support our customers, our industry-leading workload automation solution, Control-M, and its SaaS counterpart, Helix Control-M, enable our customers to innovate with automation, both on-premises and in the cloud. And our Helix AI Ops and Service Ops solution suite are deployable both as SaaS and on-prem, containerized on-prem solutions that cater to not just the regulatory mandates, but different risk postures for customers across diverse geographies. So that's category one. Category two, we're constantly bringing new use cases to life. Multiple examples here. Again, starting with our industry-leading workload automation solution, Control-M. Multiple customers across regions are in the throes of modernization and cloud migration efforts where Control-M is a centerpiece. In fact, a very reputed insurance carrier that is EMEA-based has used Control-M as the orchestration engine before modernization, during modernization, and most certainly after modernization. Example one. Example two, in our mainframe portfolio, AME DevX is the best there is. It epitomizes the notion of the modern mainframe and brings together a diverse set of stakeholders that span app dev and delivery organizations. And NetBank in South Africa has a wonderful example that's successfully implemented AME DevX and not only reaped the benefits of considerably incre increased uh, efficiencies, but also brought the mainframe to the forefront of their digital transformation. That's pretty compelling. And then turning to our Helix world, one example is our Helix Service Ops Solution Suite, where we are rolling out enterprise service management capabilities. And these line of business solutions are being increasingly deployed across customers, an example of which is Balfour BT, that's reaping the benefits of this solution. So that, that's bucket number two to illustrate new use cases. Bucket number three is pretty interesting. It's the things that we do to ensure that the investments that you have made years in the years past that continue to yield as much value, if not more value, with a little judicious touch of our solution offerings. And an example of that is our Amy Cloud solution, which brings mainframe storage to the public cloud. And Amy Cloud basically helps our customers reduce the overall cost of their mainframe investments, thereby yielding more value for those investments that you've made in the years past. So these are three distinct buckets of how we enable today's needs of customers. Addressing risks and operational considerations in AI deployment and data management. I'm going to use Helix GPT to illustrate how important this is across our entire portfolio. 
So when I have conversations with customers, and these are the CIOs, CDOs, VPs of infrastructure, and many of you folks, practitioners and managers in IT, and when I talk to them about Helix GPT, the response is, okay, this is wonderful, we love to hear more, but help, tell us and help us solve for risk and operational considerations. What do you mean by risk? Data accuracy or hallucinations, as many of you know in the layman's vernacular, data privacy, data security, and so much more, ethics and biases. So what we do is we have a multi-pronged approach to addressing this. One, the Helix platform itself is pretty darn secure. On top of that, the platform offers PII and GDPR compliance. But that's not all. We only operate in our domains of expertise, so it's domain-specific large language models. And that's the power of what we do. So it's, that, it's those domains of expertise applied to your enterprise knowledge repositories, not world knowledge repositories. And when we fine tune the model, that's the first layer of guardrail that we impose in ensuring that it's reasonably secure. On top of that, we've invested heavily in prompt engineering orchestration layer that ensures further reasonable accuracy to any responses from a query. And lastly, we've built a safety layer on top of these two, such that any erroneous response to a query is spit out and not returned. So we look to minimize all of these and address various levels of data considerations from a risk standpoint. From an operational standpoint, let me give you one quick example as this session draws to a close. Everything that we do in BMC is firmly anchored in customer centricity, so much so that we actually celebrate customer go lives as much, if not more, than the new deals that we close. And that spirit is epitomized across the organization. So I commit to you on behalf of everybody at BMC that we will be your strategic partner in your generative AI journey from concept to proof of concept to implementation and value realization. Hold us to that promise, and we will be there for you for the entire journey. So that's how we address operational considerations. So folks, I want to leave you with three takeaways. Number one, AI and data are in a cosmic dance where they are intricately intertwined. One without the other does not make sense. AI that is being tuned with poor quality training data is of no value, and conversely, Data in organizations has become so incredibly complex that it's virtually impossible to unlock its full value without the power of AI. That's takeaway number one. Takeaway number two, generative AI is nascent, as we all know, but with a pragmatic approach that takes into consideration domain-specific large language models and appropriate safeguards for risk and operational considerations, you can absolutely realize value from generative AI and realize value fast. That's takeaway number two. Takeaway number three, it's not just about innovation. It's about successfully operationalizing innovation where we see the opportunity for both you and for us. And successfully operationalizing innovation is at the heart of connected digital ops. Hopefully, I've convinced you that BMC can continue to be a strategic partner in your tech transformation journeys as you evolve to autonomous digital enterprises by enabling connected digital operations across your hybrid IT landscape. Thank you.